What's up guys? So today is a bit of a chilled one. Uh, I'm just heading through to Triumph Cape Town um, to get my mirrors replaced. Um, when I bought the bike the mirrors just basically flopped down <laughs> at uh, high speed. Um, well not even high speed just highway cruising speed. Um, the balls on there are like super loose. Um, I had to put some Loctite in the back of them to make them actually stick a bit, but they are defective. Um, so yeah, they're very kindly re replacing them for me. Um, I also had my heated grips replaced. Um, when I bought the bike, they were super worn out. Um, the bike only has 25,000 Ks on it when I got it. Um, and the grips look like they had 50,000 Ks on them. Um, I'll chuck a picture on screen now. So yeah, they replaced the grips, which is great because I love heated grips. Um, riding with them on now, it's not even that cold, it's 18 degrees, but I just like um, having my hands a bit warm. Um, they just help your hands work a little bit better. <laughs> if your fingers aren't freezing, you can feel the brakes properly and the clutch and whatever. Uh, traffic cop. I was just about to weedy on this on ramp. Uh, yeah, so got the heater grips replaced, got the getting the mirrors done, um, and then yeah, uh, at the end of this month, I'm gonna order a exhaust. Just gonna get a um, cheap SC project knockoff from AliExpress. Um, and some tank grips, um, exhaust, I mean exhaust literally is just for sound, um, having a link pipe with a can on the end basically does nothing for performance, it's more for looks than for sound and for weight savings. Um, I did actually test fit a Pro Race titanium exhaust that a buddy of mine had and uh, it was from a Speed 1200 RS and the link the bend in the pipe was almost an exact fit for the 765, funny enough. Wow, it's cold here. Just suddenly dropped a few degrees. Um, the link was almost perfect. I just had to have a, a sleeve made because the diameter was a bit bigger than what the street triple headers are. Um, yeah, and it looked super cool. But man, it was so loud. It was, it was basically just a straight out pipe. Um, even with the baffle in, it was literally painful. Um, and then I rode with the baffle out and it was insane. Like, actually hurt. I thought I was going to get tinnitus on the way home. <laughs> um, so yeah, that was just too much. Um, and the other reason for an exhaust is just the weight savings. When I took the standard exhaust off, it's super heavy. I forgot how heavy they are. Um, it probably weighs like, I want to say like five to six kilos, maybe more. Um, yeah, so it's pretty heavy. Uh, and, uh, aftermarket exhausts, obviously you drop all of that weight. The other thing I noticed was when I had that exhaust on uh, and I was doing some wheelies, the, the bike came up like super, super quick. Um, like, I don't know if it was the... Um, less weight uh but like even in second second gear clutch up it is just like shoof, like flying up so yeah that was that was interesting i never really noticed that before but um yeah you know it's just one of those things where you do something a thousand times and then the next time you do it and it's completely different and it takes you by surprise that's that's kind of exactly how it felt after doing my first wheelie with that super light titanium exhaust on it uh, so yeah, end of the month I'll order the exhaust and the tank grips and then that's pretty much everything I want to do with this bike. Um, it's got good tires, chain and sprockets are fine, oh yeah, maybe some brake pads. Um, the brake pads took quite a beating at the track day. My disc is full of um, brake material, you can see lots of dark uh, spots and things on it from where... Uh, from where the uh, pad was getting super hot and uh, binding with the disc so 
I'll get some uh, SBS double H sintered, um, scotch bright the disc and just let that bed in nicely. Uh, then yeah, that's pretty much everything I want to do with the bike and then just ride it really. Um, it is winter at the moment, I mean winter, it's autumn, so this is quite a very nice autumn day, 16 degrees. Um, and in the next month or two we're heading straight into winter so yeah the the videos might get few and far between but i'll try my best to get something decent sorry little bike obviously there's a roadworks right outside triumph but i am on a bike i don't need to wait for you Oh, so I kind of don't want to ride through this construction zone. Uh, so yeah, I will catch you up inside Triumph. A little longer than a few minutes later. Okay, so, got my mirrors. Ah, I didn't get my old ones back. Uh, I don't know if I need them or not. Oh, that's stiff. Okay, at least they're not gonna move. They are pretty dirty though. Need to uh, give them a wipe. Uh, so yeah, got the mirrors sorted, um, got my number plate fitted and my disc. Um, so yeah, bike is all legal now. You can see where I'm going. Uh, yeah, just going to ride up to the cable car just uh, take a look over Cape Town it's a really nice day probably couldn't hear any of that because my visor was open Did this just move no it didn't just bad angle man setting mirrors is always such a precise thing okay I think that's fine um, yeah so spoke to uh, one of the salesmen there Mike really nice guy um, I was taking a look at the speed 400 um, looks super cool uh, I must say it's really a lot bigger in person uh, than what it looks like in the pictures because when when it came out uh, I looked at the pictures and I was like uh like 400 cc triumph I feel like it's not great but uh, seeing it in person I must say it looks really nice quality um, fits in well with the rest of the lineup and it's quite big uh, I must say it's in the store it was parked next to a trident um, and it looked maybe maybe like two percent smaller um, so the seat felt roughly the same height um, had nice high bars in it um, i'm six foot exactly so 183 centimeters and i sat around it felt really comfortable um, foot pegs were in a good spot bars are nice and high um yeah so i'm keen to go and take it for a spin and um, make a video on it i just need to do a little bit more research uh, about it i haven't really read up too much about the 400 um but it looks cool um, and from what he told me he said it uses the same motor the same bajaj motor as the duke 390 um, which is cool because the 390 
is the most powerful uh, 400cc in its class, uh, puts out something like 45 horsepower. Um, and I've ridden, ridden a few 390s and they feel awesome. Um, they actually punch a lot harder than what you would expect from a little 400 motor. Uh, I'm quite a fan of the 390. So yeah, that's, that's a really a good sign. Um, so hopefully next weekend, if the weather is good, um, I can hop on that 400 and put a video out. Um, I'd like to spend a decent amount of time on the bike. Um, maybe take it out to Franschhoek. Um, and yeah, do, do a comprehensive like first look kind of thing. Can I go? Yes. Uh, I haven't I haven't done a video like that in quite a while. Quite keen to go and get some seat time on some different bikes. Um, now that I'm feeling comfortable again. Also, I had no idea that there was this much roadworks over here. So this was probably a stupid idea. But look at that view! Wow. Also, should probably be in a mode that is not rider. Which I can't change. I don't know, I don't know if it's me, but I... I read the manual because what the manual says for modes is that you can change modes while you're riding, right? Um, all you have to do is be off the throttle, no brakes, no clutch. And it says for... And like a short period of time um, so whatever the hell that means I'm gonna let this bus pass oh okay thanks bus um, it says for a short period of time and no matter how long I coast for it just flashes between the modes um, and the only time I can actually change modes is when I stop so I don't know if um, I'm doing something wrong or if the bike is doing something wrong or if that's just what they mean like stop the bike and change it but I don't know the manual says you can do it while you're riding and on my 2020 I could um, you just coast and change modes uh, the only th mode you can't change into while riding is rider or track mode um, if those modes have traction control disabled or ABS disabled um, which my rider mode has um, I have turned traction control off so that I can do wheelies and things I tried to uh, wheelie in track mode the other day a clutch up uh, and it dropped me back down um, and I watched a video last night of a guy doing these insane power wheelies on his 2020 in third he basically just flipping yanked it uh, at like 150 k's an hour and it just came up super smooth uh, same for second um, I prefer not to do power wheelies because I just don't like going that fast when you're doing a wheelie because your chance of coming down and entering a tank slapper is pretty high and also just going that fast in general I don't really like speeding on well okay it sounds like a blatant lie if you watch the rest of my videos but like on the highway I don't actually ride very fast on the highway um, I will ride around the speed limit so maybe like 120, 130-ish, maybe 140 sometimes, but that's basically in the vicinity of the speed limit. Um, doing a wheelie at 150 k's an hour is not really my vibe. <laughs> uh, anyway, so this is Table Mountain, which has... Okay, cool. Just look at me and walk away. Uh... <laughs> This is Table Mountain, which is probably the most iconic um, tourist attraction in Cape Town, obviously. And it, 
probably 90% of the people you see walking around here are tourists and um, you can see all the tour buses um, all the rental cars and things but obviously there's a lot of locals as well um, I haven't been on this road in a long time and it was probably a bad move because nice day in Cape Town means Table Mountain is always busy but look at the view, it looks really nice today if you go all the way to the end, so that that section of road up there is actually closed um, there was some rock falls and things many years ago like probably more than 10 years ago anyway that piece of road is damaged and the road ends um, with some bollards and things that you can't go past which is a pity because you used to be able to go all the way around and there was a big gravel parking lot you could go and park at um, and at that point you could see uh, both oceans so the Atlantic Ocean on the left and the Indian Ocean on the right and then further back that way to Cape Point is where the oceans meet um, so yeah it was a really cool spot you can hike there you can also walk there uh, and if your bike is small enough you can actually get it past the bollard and sneak along that road and do some photo shoots um, which some people have done before uh, yeah so let's see what we can see okay so I went to the end and turned around um, what you can see here is Plattaklip Gorge um, and that's basically an endless set of stairs that you can climb all the way to the top of Table Mountain um, so it starts around about there and you go all the way up those stairs um, I've done it once before and if you like doing lunges um, there's about 4,000 lunges all the way to the top <laughs> uh, and if you don't like your knees then you can come back this way as well and destroy all the cartilage in your knees um, but yeah I also sound like an extremely old man but you can go up there for free or you can take the cable car to the top which is like 200 rand or something 200 rand is like $10 <laughs> um, actually is it 200 rand it might be a bit more than that anyway it's not it's not that expensive if you're a tourist um, if you're a local it's kind of expensive uh, especially if you are taking your family up um, ends up costing you like I don't know a thousand rand or something um, which is like fifty dollars for the whole family anyway uh, yeah that is the most random video you'll watch um, just kind of out and about today felt like recording such a nice day that view uh, yeah just felt like recording random stuff get some errands done and catch some view from here um, I live across that bay like super far away I don't know where my hand is but down there all the way across past those ships to the other side of the bay that's where I live so yeah anyway super random video uh, thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers!